hello beautiful people you're welcome back to my youtube channel thank you for making year 2019 an amazing one happy new year to you guys thank you so much for being part of my success story in 2019 hope you guys are doing so well i pray that the almighty god will grant all our heart desires this new year in jesus name amen are you watching our videos for the first time you're welcome to this family my name is dolapo creative director dolly b crafties i have this project at hand based on a client's um, request and i decided to share my knowledge with you on how to design a art a simple way you can design a ready-made hat like this now let's just go into today's video now these are the materials i used for this project this is a straw art a ready-made art and then we have crinoline the width of this crinoline is seven inches we have some feathers we have uhu glue so we have some roses fishing line about 0.5 mm and then we have some needles we also be using a thread that matches the color of my heart i have measuring tape razor blade office pins i don't think i eventually use this and then we have a pair of scissors all right the first thing i did was to trim off the brim of the arts the brim is actually white okay and then i reduced it there are strips joined together to form this straw hat so i have about eight strips i think and i decided to take off two strips or layers to reduce the wideness of the brim the strips or layers of this brim were actually joined together with fishing line so i used my razor blade to start cutting off the the fishing line or the thread used in joining them together at that point so i can take off two layers from it so, and that is exactly what i was doing here that i was to take off two layers i noticed it was tending towards the third layer the way the art was designed so i had to just use my scissors to cut cut it off at that point so that it doesn't um, go into the third layer so i just trimmed it off at that point after that i used my fishing line and needle to join the excess that came off while taking off the two layers i joined it back to the brim of the art as you can see so i just use my needle and the fishing line to tack it to it like that point i used the uhu glue I just use the glue to seal up that end all right before i finish tacking i don't know if you can see this part well the lighting is actually affecting the video here especially because of the color of material i'm using i'm so sorry about this please all right our heart is ready and then it's time for us to embellish so i'm going to be embellishing with crinoline and even the strips that we cut out earlier the crinoline i'm using is seven inches wide and one side of the crinoline has this thread in it so we're going to be taking off the thread so i just pull the thread gently and then um, i took it off I just pulled it gently and i took it off like that now what i was doing here was to measure the end of the crown of this art and then um, I added some allowance that was what I used in cutting out my crinoline so I cut out my crinoline using that measurement with three inches or four inches added and I cut it out I used the same measurement to cut the second 
piece of crinoline because I'll be using two pieces for this part. I picked one of the two pieces of crinoline that I cut out earlier. I folded it into two and I'm going to and I'm wrapping it around my art at that point. Please note the back of your art and where you want the front to be. I already noted that there's an elastic band under the art so you can use that as a clue to know where the front of your art will be or is and the back of your art. So I just um, gather the edges of my crinoline at that point and with my needle and thread I used it to secure the ends together. As you can see I took the needle and thread as many times as possible to secure the ends of the crinoline so that it doesn't fray apart. Having done that, I'm going to trim off the excesses. Now I picked up the second piece of crinoline and I repeated the same procedure but what I did here was to squeeze, there's a way I squeezed the crinoline downward so that it looks shorter than the previous one. What I mean is at the end of the day, the first crinoline is higher or looks higher than the second one. It's still the same crinoline but I just squeezed it downward and then um, secured the ends. That way it looked shorter than the previous one. I know my camera is not showing this well because of the lighting. The lighting and the color of the art or the color of our materials, they are not, um, they are actually fighting. <laughs> so that's why you're not seeing this part of But let me believe you understand what I'm trying to explain. Now I'm just trying to secure the ends, you know, I am trying to make sure that the ends are properly secured and I trim off the excesses as we did the other time. Now the next thing I did here was to tack the crinoline on the side. I just tacked the crinoline to the brim of the art in such a way that it won't be that visible. This way you are sure that the crinoline will not come off the art later. So I did that on four points. I mean I tacked at that point and then three other points just to secure the crinoline to the art. Okay. Now, can you remember the strips or the layers we took off the brim of the art the other time? I I took off one strip or one layer from it and we are going to be using that to form designs for our heart. I'm creating a loop right now, like you're forming an S or figure 8. Alright, so I just form, I formed like an S or figure 8 and I secured it with needle and thread. At that point I just took my needle and thread like that as many times as possible to secure it together then I'm going to trim off the excesses I'm going to be making multiples of this all right we'll be using that to embellish our art so I'll be making multiples of this loop now, I'll be creating some loops with crinoline with my seven inches crinoline now the measurement I used for my crinoline is seven to seven and a half inches so I'll be using that to create our loops okay I cut that out and to make a loop can you watch how I made my crinoline loop I folded the crinoline into two I folded it again into two that's I folded into two twice, then I folded it that way to create a loop. Let me take it again. I folded it into two two times and I folded it into two sideways like that. Then I secured the ends with needle and thread. Are you watching my videos for the first time? time or you have been watching my videos and you have not subscribed, why not join the family? Click on the subscribe button, that red subscribe button you're seeing down there that should be on your right just click on it tap the bell icon then it will bring out options just click on the options to receive all notifications just to make you receive notifications whenever i upload videos on this channel thank you i've created the loops i'll be using to design this art as you can see so it's time for us to assemble i'm going to leave you all to watch 
how I'm going to assemble these loops it's just all about arranging them placing them on each other and tacking with nine needle and thread neatly so just watch what I'm doing if you noticed the color of crinoline I'm using here is pure white while the brim or the hat and other materials are like off-white I didn't get an off-white crinoline in the market so I just decided to do this combination and it came out fine my client was actually okay with it you know sometimes getting some colors in some materials can be so ethic and we no go kill ourselves now at least I was just able to come up with this and thank god my client was okay with it Now before I tacked my design to the art, I actually used the strip that I, I cut out earlier too. I wrap it around it like that. Okay, you can do that as well. So I'm just going to tack my design when it is ready. I'm going to tack it to my art like this. So when you're tacking, make sure that the thread is invisible. There's a ribbon under the art. Okay, so just take your needle through. And let it come out under the ribbon so at the end of the day the ribbon covers any parts or any thread you have showing after securing the loops to the art the next thing was to embellish with the roses i just pulled the roses out of the stems i also have my feathers i used the back of my scissors to make the feathers coily like that just drag the scissors over the feathers it makes it coil and we're going to be using our uhe glue to attach those roses i applied glue on the roses and i left it for a few seconds for the glue to dry a little before I place them on the art like that the same thing I did for the feathers so I'm just going to assemble them all together the roses the feathers If you tried any of these designs or you come up with your own design i would like us to see them please join our facebook group at dolly v fashion and crafts you can post pictures of your projects so that we can see them you can as well follow my facebook page my instagram page at dolly v crafties for more designs or updates or if you want to order for any of our crafted or beautifully crafted products like edwares fascinators Hat and others, you can follow our page on Facebook too. Yes, our hat is ready. I think it came out beautiful. Or let me know what to think in the comment section if you like this tutorial please do share share with your friends please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you all in my next video thank you so much for watching 
बाय